Hey Education Boxer, welcome back to another video. In this video, we will be going over the Millennium Problems. Now, the Millennium Problems are seven of the biggest unsolved mathematical problems that are each worth a million dollars if you solve them. So this started in the year 1998 by the Clay Math Institute and only one out of the seven of their problems have been solved. So let's take a look at some of these problems. So let's look at the Yang Mills and Mass Gap. So this basically, uh, this asks, this hypothesis asks if we can construct a theory which defines what the physicists can see in their quantum experiments. As you can see here, it says that the problem is unsolved and you will be rewarded a million dollars if you solve this. Now there are other interesting problems here. So there's also the Riemann hypothesis, which I actually might make another video about since it's so interesting. So the Riemann hypothesis basically asks whether the distribution of prime numbers is within the area of the zeros in the zeta function. So the zeta function looks like this, and I won't go too much into depth of this because it's extremely complicated. However, I might make a video on it later, as I mentioned, and this problem is unsolved. And an interesting fact that is mentioned here is that it has been checked for, I think, 10 trillion solutions. It's a lot of zeros. And there is a supercomputer that was computing 10 billion solutions a day, and it still never managed to find a solution. And there was one that was solved, which is called the Poincaré uh, conjecture. I'm not sure how you pronounce that. But it tells us that any smooth, finite, finite shape with no holes in any dimension must look like a sphere. And as you can see, this problem is actually solved. So that was just a quick um, showcase of the Millennium Problems. Hopefully you guys can maybe take a look at them and maybe even solve one if you're um, really smart. And yeah, that will be all. And thanks for watching.